This is Trudy of Virtual Tarot, and I am here to read a four card spread for you. This reading will pertain to love, your love life, relationships, intimate partnerships. And if you don't have one, let's see if one pops up for you this month. I've already shuffled your cards. Yay! So we're going to do your reading right now. Here we go. Okay, very interesting. The sneaky, sneaky card is the first card to come up for you, Libra. Inverted. This card does not look great. <laughs> and um, I'm going to tell you, when it comes up reversed, it's not great. Um, and that's just the way it is. Sometimes things go on in our lives that we need to be warned Forewarned is forearmed about, and this may be your month, but we'll see. We have to read a few more cards first. Okay, so let's talk about the Seven of Swords. As you can see, this gentleman is sneaking away with swords. Um, in the background, we see civilization. In the foreground, we see sneakiness. <laughs> civilization meaning where you live, your community, what's going on with you, your social network, all of those things. Um, it's sort of your tribe. Well, the warning would be that there may be someone who is sneaking around a little bit and you might really need to look out for this person this month. Now in reverse, it's magnified, which I'm, hearing that it could mean that if you are trying to be disarming um, and it's not honest and that comes to you very naturally Libra if you're disarming someone so that you can get away with something may not serve you well I will draw another card and let's take a look or if someone is trying to disarm you um, there's a lack of trust here there's a feeling that something's going on and that you need to be on watch this month within a relationship the next card to come up for you is another inversion and your challenge is and these are all minors also. So I want to say that there's a situation going on and it can just mean there's conflict happening um, within the relationship. Now I'm talking to Libras who already are in relationship. And so if this isn't you, um, you may want to go watch your other two signs, your rising or your moon sign to see, especially your moon sign, to see if that resonates with you. But what I'm hearing here is that you're not feeling as if whatever this situation is, is paying off for you. Um, and this could be business related. Uh, there's a challenge within business or your work or your investments or whatever it is within the relationship and it's stressing you out. Um, who's gonna take off with more than the other is the question. And there could be two people uh, making a plan for an escape. Who's going to take more than the other? Um, again, if this does not resonate with you, it feels very specific. The challenge could be that you're not able to put roots down also that will pay off in the future. Um, you're wondering if in this situation, you are going to be able to create something that's practical and that grows. And I will draw another card. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty crazy. Okay, another inversion. We have the nine of rods or wands. And so looking at what you've already gone through in the earlier part of the month
communication is going to be really key because when we get a reversal, sometimes it'll point back to the card that precedes it. And that would be the Eight of Rods, which is the card of Mercury communication, um, the arrows of love, that type of thing. That would tell me that you need to turn around and move back a little bit within this relationship to turn these other two cards upright especially this seven of pentacles there's been some struggle and you're feeling a little bit beat up right now um this is interesting there are probably plenty of libras out there who are having an excellent month with their partner and so once again, if this doesn't pertain to you, it's very specific, but for some of our Libras, they're going to be in a very Libra fashion, feeling cold toward their partner because they're preparing. They're preparing for the worst. Now, there really isn't any reason to be that paranoid. These are all minor arcana cards. This is a situation that needs to be addressed and can be improved with some clear thinking. And also putting your weapons down, I'm hearing, putting all your swords on the table, sitting down together and working out a plan, being honest with one another, because in the end we have the six of cups again all of these are reversals and they're all easily addressed they are easily addressed it's just a moment in time where you're feeling like you're not sure that staying in the relationship wouldn't be better than leaving the relationship but you haven't really made that decision yet or nor has your partner because there's a nest that feels very good. There's a network that feels very good um, that's been established. But there might be, for some of you, I'm hearing a situation where someone is reconnecting, and this is really specific, but with online past relationships, Facebook, old lovers, people who they've had fun with in the past and who they feel as if they can rely on while this is all going on. So there could be some online dating, sneaking stuff happening around you. Just be aware and just, if your intuition is telling you this might be happening, it might be happening for some of you. Communication, once again, is the key. This card is such a beautiful card in the upright. It's the card of the warm fuzzies or going home to mother and having that chicken soup. And really that's what you're looking for is you, you're looking for comfort. You're looking for unconditional love. This is conditional love. This is where you don't feel as if you have a nest to go to every night after work. Um, you're just feeling unsettled this month, Libra. And a lot of these things can be repaired easily. Take a really good look at whether or not your investments together that you've made together are paying off within the realm of friends. That's another thing I'm hearing. Your friends circle. Together, you may have, this is over here, <laughs> but together you may have made friends who really are frenemies. And that, that relationship, that your relationship with that other couple or that those other two couples, your social network, your friend group, um, that isn't 
serving you financially the way you would think it should serve you and so which is investing your time energy and efforts so that you've got this unconditional group of people who you can rely on in times of trouble bit of warning there as well what I do see this month for you is that everything that I see here is situational. These are just little things that are going to pop up in June and end of June, beginning of July, and not necessarily within relationship, but could be going on within your network of couple friends and Like people who are your cheerleaders, you think they're your cheerleaders, but they're actually kind of backstabbers going behind your back, taking away, taking away, I hear intellectual property, but not so much intellectual property, just taking away from who you are, your street cred, not, not respecting you using your relationship to prop themselves up, but they're not actually true friends. So take it from this what you will. If it doesn't resonate, please watch your rising and your moon sign, Libra. <laughs> and again, it's all minor situational stuff. It's not anything big. It's going to solve itself. Mwah. Love you. <laughs> And I'm looking for a few fans to post on the channel. If you would like to read a four card spread and just read for one sign, send it to myvirtualtarot at gmail.com. Send it to me and I am going to watch it, respond, and hopefully post it on Ava and my channel. Also, please subscribe to Ava's Council Card. It is wonderful fabulous, intuitive, meditative, spiritual advice on her reading that she does every month. I do private and personal readings. And if you would like one, please go to avatrudyvirtualtarot.com, click on purchase a reading. There's an emergency reading, which you can get within 24 hours. I've been doing a lot of those. And so please read the testimonials and you will see that everyone feels spirit take their issues and create solutions beyond anything imaginable it's it's beautiful thank you again i'm sorry i missed last month i've had issues with this side of my face my jaw i broke my jaw a month ago and it is getting better and i will hang in there i am happy that you came to watch Trudy of Ava Trudy Virtual Tarot, and I will see you for your love reading in the month of July. Have a great month.